Right, check. Hello, hello, hello. Is there anyone alive out there? There we go. It's working. Cool. Sweet. Do 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 do. Right, who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we have? We have OJW, App TV, David, Michael, Mike, Big Mac, Chris. Uh, where's it gone? Uh, there it is. Hannon, Andrew, Addy, Sixo. Carl, John, David. It's the same one from last night. It is Chris, yeah. How's it going, mate? Uh, Michael, Charlie, me, Daddy, D -d Daddy O, Robert, Neil, George, Ellis, Nate, welcome. Uh, re time is supposed to be in stock tomorrow. Mary's out, but let us. I tend to slightly different than before. Uh, let me have a look because. Uh, do you mean the TDP 158, mate? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, Chris. Evening muscle flexors. Hello. I've left my coffee downstairs. Just realised as well. Piss me off. Let's have a look because I know there's some coming in stock on the 2nd of next month. Uh, display <coughs> interface. Uh, Ah, okay, so they, yeah, they do have some. So you've got the RSBR and you've got the RSBT. Both of them will work on the S and X, and they're supposed to be coming in today. So I'm assuming they will come in stock at some point. Uh, oh, no, that's 2023. Uh 2,745 for the RSBR coming in on tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, they'll work. They will. They will work. I bought a Travis Did It mug. Nice. Hey, at least Travis did it. Uh, 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 uh. This is the university one, yeah. I'm going to try and get this keyboard working for the first hour or so. Uh, thank you, William. I appreciate that, mate. Yeah, good thanks, Chris. Good thanks, mate. Uh, I think your end. What's new? <laughs> Uh, I reckon Sarah should bring my coffee up. What did Sarah say? I guess he's still working on his MacBook. Yeah, I haven't touched it. I haven't been in the workshop since last night when I ended the stream. I've been quite tired, to be honest. Plus, I've had Cody's birthday. Yeah, Cody enjoyed his birthday, mate. I haven't bought him anything with the donations that people sent last night yet, though. Uh, but yeah, this is the one from from last night. Are you sick? No, I'm just tired, mate. I'm just tired. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, um, this is the one from last night. This is basically, well, it seems to be kernel panicking a little bit, I would say. If I had to hazard a guess, I would say it's kernel panicking. And the reason that I think that is because it just randomly seems to reboot every so often. Um, but also as well, the keyboard isn't working, so I need to look into that. Take your time, buddy, want to buy something cool. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, Archie? Lurking. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you for hanging out. No sleep will do that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just a little bit tired. Just tired. Um, actually, Mouser do send from the US, I believe. I do believe they send from the US. Mac, how's it going, buddy? Peter, James, how's it going, mate? Oh, I'm good. Caused by the resistors or diode, you accidentally knocked off. Um, I think I'm going to need to replace that cap around the CPU V core. Uh, Tiny the stream go out until almost 4 a.m., mate. I think. I think it was almost 4 a.m., to be honest. I had no idea, but not surprised either. Yeah, I think they. Just, I think they just use. Um, I believe Mouser's TNT. I think they use TNT. I'm sure it's TNT that Mouser use. Kernel stuff can easily be caused by bad current sensing. Yeah, it can. Yeah. Um, and yeah, if there's a cap missing around CPU V core, it could definitely cause some sort of um, some sort of voltage issue around the. Um, V core rail. So yeah, I'm gonna get the board back out and um well let's just see if it's still working first. Blow me Phil. So yep, Travis did it. Okay, that booted straight away, look at that. Shut up phone. Sarah bring Phil's coffee up. Yeah, bring Phil's coffee up, Sarah. Oh no, don't shut up phone. Uh that's a good notification. Something ending on eBay. Uh, I'll keep a close eye on that. Got 15 minutes. Set a reminder, 10 minutes. Okay, today at 9.57pm. There you go. All right, I'll remind you at 9.57 p.m. Sweet. Sweet. Extra, extra small penis stroker. Uh, no, I actually wanted to buy a penis in larger, but they're out of stock. <sighs> yeah, so the keyboard's not working on that at all. Which is rather weird. Rather weird. <clears throat> Sending rough. Yeah, just a little bit tired, man. I think more than anything. <coughs> I could be coming down with something, but I don't know. Uh, either way, life goes on, I guess. So yeah, I haven't been in the workshop since last night. Uh, well, earlier was this morning. Mr. Steve B, hello. So what are you doing right now? Well, I'm going to try and figure out this kernel panic. I think it's some sort of a kernel panic. I could be wrong, but it seems to me like a kernel panic of some sort. Uh, just because it keeps weirdly... Um, like I'm getting that random error message, and also it seems to be... Randomly rebooting itself every so often as well, or that's what it seemed like it was happening last night. So I think that's one issue, and then on top of that, 
I think there's an issue around the keyboard circuit where I've performed a trace repair. So I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to have to boot it up outside the chassis so that I can do some checks on voltages and things like that. But we'll see. But I, I think I need to replace that cap around the CPU V core rail at least. Um, maybe the backlight cap as well. Because I don't know if that's going to be important or not. But also I might disassemble the trackpad as well. Uh, this is a A2251, I think. Uh, it's a 2020 MacBook Pro, um, the one right before the M1. Uh, I think it's a 2251, I could be wrong. Um, top of my head, 2251 sounds right. Uh, but this is one that I bought off eBay and I got it for a really, really good price. Um, I paid, I think it was £133 for this. So, yeah, I got it for a really good price, absolutely fantastic price, and either way, I know the LCD is in really good condition, and I know it's working perfectly fine. Same as the battery, the battery's holding a charge, it's working absolutely fine, so I don't think I'll lose money. I mean, I'll make probably £70-£80 back off the battery on its own, um, if I was to strip it down for parts, if I can't fix it. And then the screen, I'm going to make £200 on if I sell that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to make a profit on this no matter what now because just because of the fact that it's got really good parts in it. Uh, I don't know why I might manage to get it for so cheap, but evidently I did. And, uh, yeah, couldn't be happier. There we go. I'm oh, good, thanks, Chris. How are you? Yoshi, how's it going? This is the one with MDM, yeah. Uh, I was speaking to Wayne today, and Wayne said that there is a way I can bypass it. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what to think about that, but um, he said there's a way to bypass it anyway. So, either way, I mean, we're going to give it a darn good shot anyway. Um, first, I want to figure out what's going on with this CPU V core area because, uh, yeah, that's going to be one of the most important issues, I think. So let's have a nose and see if I can figure that out. Uh, so if I go to the microscope. So, there was corrosion around here. Um, yeah, we definitely have some damage around there, so... But it's not major damage as well. MDM is linked to the serial number. Um, to be fair, I mean, this, I believe, has been sold as a genuine sale, and it was um, a university in Bristol who sold it. Uh, it look, what it looks like has happened with this is it's been recycled by, by uh, Bristol University. Uh, a third-party recycling company got hold of it, and they've um, basically just sold it on eBay. So I reckon if I was to contact the IT department at this university, I reckon if I give them the serial number, they'd remove it from their servers so as it can be reused or reactivated. 
or give me a password so as I can reboot it, uh, so as I can reinstall it. <coughs> why did that not, not wipe it? It wouldn't boot. Um, so the battery was completely dead. It was in some sort of a deep sleep mode and there was no backlight because it was liquid damaged. So obviously that couldn't, couldn't wipe it because you can't remove the SSD from these either. Um, right, so it looks to me like there's not that much damage here. Uh, I am going to remove this sticker though. See if I can see under there. Here's another milestone sticker. Nice. Nice, Mr. Chris. 19 months. Yeah, it looks like... I think that component that looks missing, I think it came off while I was cleaning. Uh, so it could well be under this sticker. I'm just going to heat up the sticker so I can get it off safely. <laughs> well, oh dear. Hey, you streaming again today? Yeah, beginning to see how Sarah feels now. <laughs> this is why you remove stickers. <laughs> Well, that would explain kernel panic, right? How on earth is this booting? What's the parcel company you use? Um, for most parcels, I use UPS, mate. Um, I use UPS for anything over a kilogram, so basically anything anything that's not a Nintendo Switch, pretty much. Uh, yeah, so anything over 1kg I use UPS, and anything under I use Royal Mail. <coughs> um, I haven't used the and install, I gave it away, mate. Right, I might have been looking at the wrong area yesterday. This might not have been CPU V core on this other side. That might have been GPU V core. Um, and because I was getting tired, I might have been looking at the wrong area. Uh, so that's not that bad once the, once the corrosion's removed. Um, a couple of damaged components, but. Not too bad. Not like if you have a brain brain wave to tell people to unlike, then do it now. <laughs> that was quite fun last night. You got to admit that was quite fun last night. Right. Okay. So let me just fire up the schematic. Bear with me. Uh, right, so I need flex board view because Cody turned all the electrics off this afternoon. Keeps going on to the consumer unit and turning it off. I think I need to padlock it. Even though that's probably against all regulations. But oh well. Alright, so I've got flex board view. Kindly gifted to me by the community. Uh, uh, well, by Paul Daniels' general com uh, generous community. Um, which was awesome. 
So he starts the board upside down like he always does because Paul Daniels is Australian. So that's kind of normal. Right, okay. So this is the one I was looking at yesterday. Um, this is this I've cleaned this up. But we do have a component here missing. And this is CPU. Okay, so this is CPU V-Core. Um, so that is still CPU V-Core. So that could be explaining kernel panics if I've got a component missing. Um, let me just have a look. I believe it's the only component that's missing. So, with the beautiful Paul Daniels' uh, software, we can just right-click on the component and click search, and it takes us straight to it. And it is a 2.2 microfarad capacitor, 25 volt, and that goes to... PVCC core PH2 AGND. Uh, no, yeah, that's just ground. Ignore me. Um, PP5V main V core 2. Um, and it goes to U7220, which I think is some sort of a MOSFET. Um, it's also for PP bus high side CPU, so it is for current sensing, I think. I'm not the best at reading schematics, but I believe that's for current sensing. Uh, so it could definitely be an issue. So I'm going to need to replace that with a 2.2 microfarad cap. It is definitely meant to be there. But the main issue now is this one here. So what's this? Uh, this is another phase on uh, CPU vCore by the look of it. So again, could explain kernel panics. And again, it's another 2.2 .2 microfarad. <coughs> nah, not the same Paul Daniels uh, that does magic, no. Um... Just go to pldaniels.com um, and there'll be a link to his YouTube channel over there as, along with this software. This software is magical though. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, to you and nephew, kept turning socket off by the switch so I had to replace it with an unswitched socket. Yeah, I think I'll probably have to do something like that with the, um, well, put a lock on it to stop it being turned off or something. Um, it's annoying because the, the, it, it keeps pressing the RCD test switch. So, so at least I know the test switch works. Well, at least I know the RCD works, but, uh, yeah. Don't like that bot that test point bottom right. Yeah, me neither. Me neither, mate. Uh, so we've also got on here a resistor, which is... Uh, let's have a look what that's supposed to be. R7235 um, is meant to be... doesn't say. Um, but I don't like the look of it. Either way, I don't like the look of it. Just got back from bingo, 175 quid. Nice, where's my cut? Where's my share? It sort of works. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It sort of works. So it can run without a phase. So I've got an Xbox Series S here, which has got a couple of phases missing. And it works fine. But under heavy use, it, under heavy load, it probably wouldn't. I mean, this looks... Sort of rough. The problem is, I don't think it's... I don't think it's completely damaged. I just think it's... A little bit, uh, a little bit charcoal. I don't think it's bad. I'm just going to expose some of these traces because I want to check these. Uh... Oh, that might be gone. Uh... Right. Okay. That wire might be gone. 
Uh, or rather that test point might be gone. So let's find out where that goes. So if we go to the board view and we go to, which test point is it? It's the one down far right, okay, so just there. Um, Where did it go to? Does it matter? Can't see it. It goes to this one here. I'm not seeing where else it goes though. Hmm. Came back with another AP. Look under that MOSFET. Um, it looks okay, but oh, you mean oh, you mean the test point goes to the MOSFET? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think it goes anywhere else. So I don't think the test point's a big issue. It literally may just be a test point. It doesn't seem to go through to the other side of the board, so um, I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. Whoops, wrong one. Um, of course, I could be wrong. May just be a test point with out of fire. Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably what it is. Uh, this test point looks okay. Uh, might need to let's just have a look actually at these and make sure we've got continuity where we're meant to get it, just to see if it's all good. So goes to here. Yeah, so that, I mean, it does complete the path there. Um, the question is, is the resistor good? And is the test point good? So what's the resistance from there to there? Oh, damn it. Might help if I actually had it in resistance mode. Open line, so I think that test point is gone. Let's just see if I can test it elsewhere. Yeah, the test point's gone. <coughs> test point is gone, but is that test point important? And the pairs lost in the bath. Nice. Yeah, test point is gone, but I don't know if it's going to be important. Let's test it to here. So where I've just exposed that via. We get 1.5 million ohms. That don't seem right to me. Uh, problem is I can't see what value that resistor is meant to be. It says it says 5% 1 over 16 watt 1 16th of a watt MF dash LF 402. So it doesn't actually tell me a value of the resistor. Um, so that might be a problem. Uh, R7225 and R7235 
Uh, I think they're the same as Easter. Does anyone know what value that's meant to be? Let's see if I can test it on this part here. Because they seem to be the same as Easter. So what's the value of this one meant to be? One ohm. Can't you spy from the other phase? Yeah, that's what I was that's what I was thinking. One ohm, that's meant to be. Um what I'm thinking <clears throat> more along the lines of is can I take it from a donor board? So let me find a donor board that I might have that resistor on. And also the cap next to it. Look what you made me do. I was somebody new. Ooh, baby, baby, I'm dancing with a stranger. Do 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 do. Hello, all you lucky people. Welcome, mate. How you doing? What's the resistance of this resistor here? Zero point one ohm. Uh, I wonder if I've got a one ohm resistor. Nice singing. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. So, I wonder if I've got a one ohm resistor or. I've misplaced my headphones so I can't listen to music. That's rough. Uh... Hmm. I've got two ohm resistors. Ten ohm. No, don't think I've got one ohm. Ha. Huh. I'm just gonna nick the. I'm just gonna nick the resistor off. Uh, I'm just going to nick the resistor off this donor board I've got, I think. It might just need reflowing, but... Yeah. So I'm going to knock these components off. There we go. Hmm. Seems I've left my soldering iron tip on all fucking night. That's always nice, isn't it?
Should do it. <coughs> All right then. Right, let's see what we need. So, I need a... I believe it's a 2.2 .2 microfarad cap. For there, yeah. So, I'm going to find... It's going to be a 2.2 .2 microfarad 25 volt cap. So, I need to get a schematic for this other board so I can find out where they are. In fact, it should be the same ones as on these uh, these other MOSFETs. So I'm just going to use them. Staff it. No, I'll, actually, I'm going to check them. I'm going to confirm because I want to resell this laptop if I can fix it. So I need to get a schematic. Bear with me. 00923. Uh, Damn it. I've already got the schematic. Did you see my last latest upload? I haven't, mate, no. Uh, what was it, mate? Right, so So I'm gonna hunt around these MOSFETs and just find the right ones. Right, okay. So I've got a 2.2 .2 microfarad. And it is the right one. 25 volt, 0402. <clears throat> and it was the one that I suspected. So there's that one. I should probably have both uh, both schematics open. Um, I think they're actually meant to just be zero ohm links. To be honest, because that's what it appears. to be on these other MOSFETs, so on this fa these phases on this other board. Probably shouldn't be working on that area because I don't want to damage that. Um, I don't want to damage that LCD connector, so I need to take that off in a second. Okay, so I'm going to need to open the schematic back up and find that other missing component that I've just took off.
That's another 2.2 microfarad. Okay. Okie dokie. I'm gonna take this connector off because I don't want to. I don't want to damage that. It's always handy to have them connectors. Because then I can use the uh, then I can use heat around that area. Uh, cool. How did the holiday go? It's all right, mate. Right, I don't think I've removed anything else from this. I think this is no stuff. Uh, yes. So that one there, that one next to the one I've just put on is no stuff according to the schematic. Just there. So, there's that one, and then I just need a 2.2 microfarad capacitor for here. And then I'll check the uh, resistance and stuff and make sure that the resistor's good. How much of those heat guns cost? Uh, yeah, between, between 120 and 180, depending where you get it from and whether you want to wait three weeks or three days. Uh, it all depends. How's it going, Luke? How's it going, uh, Excalibur? Cool, there we go. 
Okay. Just smash that like button. Feels so good doing it. Cheers, mate. I think everyone should do it. Anyone want to come strawberry picking in a few months? I was always thinking about taking the kids there to their strawberry, pick, strawberry picking. I reckon Cody would love it. How's it going, Wesley? <coughs> How you doing, buddy? Right, okay. So, that's all done. That's all been replaced. Hopefully not going to get any more kernel panic in now. Uh, let's just test that resistance again, see if I get better reading. So we want to go from this point just here to just here. And we get zero ohms. Cool. Perfect. So we've got a complete path now and that is working mint. Let's test the other one on phase two. Uh, that test points are wrong. What was that? Anonymous just gifted one subs. Hey, thank you to the anonymous gifter on Twitch. I appreciate that. Thank you. One on. Close enough. Cool. So we're going to have some in, so we're going to have some internal board resistance and whatnot. So yeah, zero ohms, one ohm, whatever, it's fine. Let's just have a look at this fuse. Don't know what the fuse is for, but let's test it anyway, just because I'm right next to it. Zero ohms, cool. Uh, yeah, everything seems good there. Let's have a look on the back of the board, considering we had some corrosion around there and. A tad of corrosion. So if that was the five volt line, if if it was, if we had an issue, I don't know if the keyboard's going to work on five volt. But if we had an issue with a five volt rail on the CPU phases, then there is the potential for that to cause an issue with the keyboard. Whether or not it's actually linked, I do not have a clue. But, there is the potential for it to cause an issue. So, I'm going to just put it back in, I think, and test it. What's the deal with that there? Is that even connected? Whatever the hell it is. Let me see if I can figure out what that is. So, it's on the other side of the board... We've got the LCD connector. Uh, just trying to figure out where it is. Hmm. Rather difficult to... Ah, there it is. It is some sort of a diode and it goes to... P5V enable. So it goes to a 5 volt enable line. They always look like that. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's ignore that then and move on. Uh, yeah, cool. I'm happy to move on then. So,
I mean, that keyboard circuit where I've done that work, I'm going to need, I think, to test and make sure we get 1.8 volts on that line. But it certainly looks like I've done an okay job. Ish. Apart from the fact we've got a bit of a stray jumper wire. Hmm. All right, I am going to test this board because I've got a f slight feeling that we may have not been getting five volts to the keyboard. There is that possibility that we wasn't getting five volts to the keyboard, so... I'm just going to test now. What was that? Hey. Thank you, TJ. I appreciate that, mate. So, yeah, I think just test now because as far as I'm aware, the keyboard works on 5 volts. So if we had an issue around that rail, then we might not have been getting 5 volts reaching that uh, the keyboard. That's always possible. Especially if that internal resistance was... Uh, if that 5 volt resistance was 1.4 million ohms on that line. Don't know if it is going to be the reason, but it's worth a look. Or maybe the CPU just wasn't recognising the keyboard. I don't know. You never know. Sounded a bit like uh, Big, Clive, Big Clive then, for a second. You never know. One moment, please. One moment, senor. One moment, please. Juan. Juan kiss. Ha, ha, ha. Two kisses. Ha, ha, ha. Do 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 do. Love watching Big Clove and me, and me, mate. Definitely, I do enjoy Big Clove videos sometimes. Not all of them, but you know, we uh, we don't all make videos that everyone enjoys watching. Like some pe some people don't enjoy watching all of my videos. Some people watch every single one. Like it's just uh, it's just one of them things. It's like EEV blog was talking about this the other day. I don't watch every single video that EEV, EEV blog posts. So Dave, Dave Jones, um, because I'm not interested in everything that he posts. Like I don't watch uh, certain things that he posts and other things I do. Like I really enjoy his fundamentals videos. But well, someone was complaining on his channel about um, saying that his channel's lost its way over the years and shit. And they don't see as much of the stuff that they used to post. And Dave was going mad over it, saying that, he, that they should just watch the stuff, just look at the title before they actually click on it. And he's got a point. He has a point. Because if you literally just posted, like, let's say, for example, I just posted Nintendo Switch repairs. Certainly not going to get half as many people watching or subscribing as I do. Which is why I'm trying to transition towards more uh, laptop repairs and shit. Mm. 
It gets a little engineering for my fat ass sometimes. Ooh, Dave Jones. Yeah, it's a little bit complex. I do like his fundamental videos a lot. Uh, I usually listen to those while I'm going to sleep because I'm one of those people that take in more information while I'm falling to sleep. So I tend to listen to informational videos while I'm falling asleep. Uh, I just find it better for my um, for my learning abilities. Everyone's got their own learning style or their own favourite methods of learning or methods that work for them, whatever you want to call it. Man, I hate these ribbons. There's just so many of them. Now, someone made me laugh on my channel the other day saying I'm not a technician because I don't go into detail about how a MOSFET works and stuff. And I'm like, dude, I'm showing people how to fix the fucking machine. I'm not showing people the fundamentals of electronic engineering. If you want that shit, go to EEP blog. If you want to know how to fix your problem, come here. Right. <laughs> come on. It's free. You don't have to support me. I will still post the videos anyway. One moment, please. I find it funny actually when people say you're you're not a technician because you didn't go to college. I'm, Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, fix technical shit. I'm a technician. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> <laughs> I am not taking the board out to get this ribbon. Fuck you! Oh, I should make a cup that says I do technical shit. Or a t-shirt. <laughs> T-shirt that says technical, I do technical shit. Like, some of us fix the, some of the most complex machines that you can ever get. Like, there's thousands upon thousands of components on a MacBook. Like, genuinely thousands upon thousands of components on a MacBook. And when people say, oh, yeah, you're not a technician because you don't, you never went to college and shit, you're like, fuck you, you dickhead. Like, eat shit. <laughs> eat shit, you jealous ass prick. I hate MacBooks. Do 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 do. I hate MacBooks. Do 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 do. Those people are just knocked that you actually have an ability that they don't. Pretty much, mate. Yeah. Oh, I don't really care what they say anyway. Like, I don't. I don't. I don't really pay much attention to it. But you just like, dude, get a grip. <laughs> like seriously, get a grip. Mm. 
Right. Uh, where did my screw go? Like the people that tell me to tidy my workbench. Fuck you. No. No, 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 not happening. I shall leave my bench a mess just to troll people. I forgot to root them properly, but fuck them. Fuck them. Don't care about the Wi-Fi uh, the Wi-Fi uh, antennas. To be honest, one moment, please. I think I need to prompt to boot and enable the battery. Dong. We have. A uh, high fan spin. I've just fucked the sensor up again. Lovely. Technician, not a cleaner. Yeah. All right. What have I done to this shit now? I've made it worse. The computer restarted because of a problem. Of course it did. And the keyboard still don't work. Yeah. And there we've got high fan spin again, so that means there's another sensor issue again. Huh. Well, that sucks. If you copy a skill, you learn it. It's simple. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, I'm going a high fan spin again. For some reason. Well, that's annoying. Fan staying on when it's turned off as well. Test point must have a voyeur underneath. Um, I can't see any voyeur underneath though, that's the thing. Can't see anywhere where he goes to on um, on the board. You know, I'm looking on the board view and I can't find any uh, any place where it goes. Interesting thing here is that it's the fan staying on even when it's shut down. 
which is kind of odd. Uh, have I got all the ribbons connected up? Like all of them. See, this is a problem when there's so many ribbons as well. You don't know if you've missed a ribbon out. I mean, I believe I have. Uh, let's just pop under the scope for a second. I'm going to start booting it. Uh, it's uh, 820, 820 0009. No, 820 0009. Uh, Thank you, Joe. Joe Simpson, Simpson, Simpson Super Chat is $2.21. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Well, I'm getting 5.12 volts there. I feel pink, love and chat. <laughs> yeah, so I'll get 5 volts there. I'll get 5 volts there. So I've got 5 volts going into there. Zero volts there. What is that? Uh... Oh, that that is a ground a ground pad. Never mind. Four point sixty two, and that's CPU called boot, uh, CPU called BP three, and CPU called boot, CPU called boot three. Uh, what do we get? on this one. Five volts again. So I'm getting five volts here everywhere everywhere where I would expect to get it. Hmm. Interesting. Very odd. Is he detecting the battery? Or rather, am I going 12 volts at the battery? Yeah, 11.55. Hmm. I want the copy of Spider or the Dragon back. Yeah. <laughs> Sixty-four. 
Shift, Command, Option, Power on. That's what someone just told me to press. No. Nope. That comes up with a stop icon. What is that stop icon? Does anyone know? So I'm going to get this error message now. Yeah. Invalid boot disk. What for recovery mode? Is really trying to reboot on its own? Yeah, sounds about right, Gibber. Yeah, so this keyboard's just not working at all. Let me just see if I'm getting any power to the keyboard at all. Keyboard ribbons here. I don't know why I've got high fan speed now, though. That's a bit strange. Um. Hold on, is that pink corroded for 1v8? Uh, it might be. Okay, it's, it's sensing the lid opening and closing. Yeah, I'm getting old 1.8 volt to the um, to the keyboard pin, or at least I believe that's the keyboard pin. Uh, 
I believe that's the PP1V8. So the third pin across should be ground. Um, actually, I might need to test that while the lid's open. Dong. Okay, I am getting 1.8 volt while the lid is open. So I think it's actually a faulty keyboard. Oh. I don't know if it's better to just strip it down for parts. Yeah, so I'm getting 1.8 volts, so I think it's probably going to be... Actually, let's see if I'm getting 3.3... Let's see if I'll get 3.3 volts, hang on. Pin 4 from the left. Yeah, it's not detecting that... Um... Or it thinks I'm trying to run from an invalid disc or something every so often as well, which is really weird. I haven't got an external Apple keyboard now. No 3.3 .3 when the lid's closed. Right, I'm not getting any 3.3 .3 on pin 27. Yes, I am. Am I? No, I'm not. I'm getting 3.3 .3 on pin 26, which is keyboard cap cathode. I'm not getting 3.3 .3 volts on pin 27. Which goes, so I'm supposed to get, I'm getting 3.3 .3 volts here, which I believe is normal. Um, but I'm also supposed to get 3.3 .3 volts here, which is PP3V3G3 hot RS LOC. That goes to the other side of the board. Huh. To R6703 and also this test point. We did have some liquid damage around this area. Okay. Check R6703. Yep, spot on, mate. Yeah. Uh, I'm just wondering why this seems to be high fan, well, why this is high fan spin now as well, since I've replaced some components around CPU vCore. 
Uh, it's weird how it would not have a high fan spin with them components damaged, and then as soon as I've put them components back, we've got high fan spin. Now, it does seem a little bit strange. I should have just bloody injected 3.3 volts into it, shouldn't I? Pulled it from somewhere else. So that would hope, well, that's hopefully going to be why the keyboard's not working. It's getting annoying all this um, plugging and unplugging the key, the board, to be honest. There's just too many ribbons. Not spending too much longer on this one tonight, though. Might be something for a revisit at some point. Throw that apple sheet in the bin and get a console on the go. Well, this shit pays more than consoles, though. One moment, please. Okay. Let's have a look around here. Right, so according to the schematic, we've got PP3V3 underscore G3 hot RS LOC. Uh, not 100% sure what that means, but what I do know is that we're supposed to get 3.3 volts. And that R6703 is, uh, where's the fucking value, I don't even know, um, let me just check the resistance on it, <coughs> we've paid you for over a year to fix consoles, <laughs> well, well, Zero ohm. Well, resistance increases when it goes bad, not decreases. So, yeah. I'm assuming that's just some sort of a zero ohm link. Uh, so, we've got PP... PP3V3 underscore G3 hot underscore RTC. Real-time clock. That goes frigging everywhere. Don't you start getting famous? R sixty nine thirty five. Let me have a look. R sixty nine thirty five. Ah, oh, that's where G three hot RTC is, right? Right by the um, keyboard connects at. What is that, a fuse?
The fuse is good. Both of them. Any short to ground? No. No short to ground. <laughs> West Midlands bus. <laughs> Um. Yeah. So, what is that going to be then? I think he's going to be the keyboard driver. Uh. Short on keyboard. Um. I'm not sure. Uh. To be honest, I don't even know how I'd be able to test that. But I'm not getting 3.3 .3 volts at the pin, so... Yeah. Uh, I mean, the only way to know for sure, really, is to... Yeah, what's all over there? Yeah, what's all over there? Ew. The only way to really know for sure is um, to try another keyboard, but I don't have one. That's the problem. Fuse the parallel so you only know one is good. Right. Well, that could be causing some sort of a connection issue, but can't see any reason why it will be causing me to not get 3.3 .3 volts unless it was pulling down to ground because of a short, but I don't know. I think I'm going to move on to something else in a second. Because I don't have a test keyboard, so I don't know whether it's going to be the... Someone's kingdom come. I don't know if he's going to, the problem is I don't have a test keyboard, so I don't know if he's going to be the keyboard or whether it's going to be the um, keyboard driver. It doesn't appear as though there's an issue on the board in that area. I've got a feeling it's probably going to be an issue with the driver, though. Test pin 3 to 27 on the keyboard connector. Uh One second. I thought you meant on the actual keyboard. Now, there's no short to ground on the 3.3 .3 volt line. Um, a 0 0.334 diode reading as well on the actual keyboard. Um, what do you mean through them carbon track thingies? No, nope, no short on the keyboard. Lick it. <laughs> no short on the keyboard. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I've got a feeling it's not producing 3.3 .3 volts, to be honest. Um, which I don't know what will cause that, personally. Um...
No worries, Raj. Thank you for hanging out, buddy. I appreciate that. What's the challenge today? It's a MacBook Pro. Yeah, um, I don't know what generates 3.3 volts on there. Uh, Let's have a look on the schematic. Yeah, there's nothing on there's nothing on Paul Daniels. He's uh, sorry, not uh, sorry, Lewis Rossman's week, eh, about keyboard issues. U sixty nine oh three. What is U sixty nine oh three? Where the fuck is it? I'm clicking on it, it's not showing up. Oh, here it is. Right, got ya. Uh, PDF. TPS six two one eight oh right. Uh, let's have a look at that area. I. Think. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure that we had a bit of corrosion around here yesterday. So maybe... Pretty sure we had some corrosion around here yesterday. If that's... Uh, if that's the right area... Will there be an Xbox or PS4 fix? Yes, in a little while, yeah. I could potentially try a reflow on that area. Uh, not sure what that is. I don't know if that's flux or what. Has someone had a crack at this? Because I don't remember it. Working on this area, personally. How's the kittens doing? They're all right, mate, thanks. I haven't worked on this area. Um, no, I haven't done any... Any kind of... Uh, Rework on this area at all. Gotta be careful though, there's a connector right next to you.
I think that might have been out of line. Now that weren't IPA, mate. IPA evaporates way easier than that. Um, the bear in mind, I I would have IPA'd this last night. Like, if I IPA'd this, it would have been last night. It would have evaporated by now. Like the way that jumped then. The way that jumped then, that was rather odd, to be honest. I think that's had some rework. Well, IPA would have. Um, IPA would have uh, evaporated by now if I'd have IPA'd that last night. I can't remember if I did or not. I'd have to go back on the stream and have a look. But, you know, well, I'm not going to plug anything. I'm just going to plug the, uh, I'm just going to plug the keyboard in and see if we get 3.3 volts on the pin. I think. If I can do that, I'm not sure. Looks crispy. Yeah, it it's uh, that's the problem when you're working close to connectors. You do you do singe a little bit. Uh, no, I don't think, I don't think I'm going to get away with that. I'm going to need to drop it in fully. Uh, See, too many ribbons. Too many ribbons.
<sighs> Hate these. Or does YouTube duplicate my comments? Um, it doesn't duplicate for us, mate. I think it's just for you. Um, it's not showing us a duplicate comment for us. It's kind of weird. Uh, I used to have that issue as well on a phone, I think. Uh, where it was to show up as a duplicate comment for me, but not for anyone else. It was weird. I think it's just a bug. I think it's a bug with more with the phone than anything, though. If you're on a phone, that is. I think it's more of a bug in the chat server or the chat system. Kind of weird. I don't know. Uh, so there's always one ribbon which you end up missing, look. It stays under the board. Because there's just so many things that are connected through a ribbon. I think I've got them all. Think I've got them all. I'm still expecting high fan spin now. Okay. Now I've got no USB C. What? What? Is my USB cable working? Yes. Okay, now it's working. That was weird as fuck. No, I'm not going to lie, that was weird as fuck. It's charging. Still kernel panicking. Keyboard's still not working. I'll give up. <laughs> Why do you waste money just to break shit? Because it's funny, it's memes. People love it. Keyboard's still not working. 
everything's working except the keyboard and the fact that it's got some random weird kernel panic. It's a troll. It is. It is a troll. I honestly don't know. I think it's probably that driver, personally. But I don't know. And I'm not going to know until I get another test housing. Yeah, still no 3.3 .3 on that. external keyboard um, don't have an external keyboard that I don't think I have an external keyboard that will work with the Mac I don't know I've got one external keyboard whether it will work or not I'm not sure let's have a look Nope. Nope. Let me try the keyboard out my PC. No. Nope. External keyboard not working. Or at least not from that cable anyway. And that cable should be working fine. Does the trackpad work? Yes, it does, yeah. So, trackpad's working fine. USB C adapter to USB keyboard. I don't have one, mate. I've got a USB-C keyboard, it's not working. So, yeah, I don't know. Not a clue. Have you tried moving camera to keyboard? I don't have one spare, mate. That's the problem is I don't have many spare parts. But I'm not going to give up on it. I'm going to just put it to one side. Maybe I'll figure something out. Keyboard controller on the kit. MacBook is locally fucked. That's what I'm thinking personally. I don't know. Either way, I won't lose money on it. But I'm not going to give up on it completely. Because um, there's still a chance of fixing it. There's still a very good chance of fixing it. I just need to figure out what is causing the keyboard issue and kernel panic. Uh, but I'd, either way, I wouldn't lose money on it because, like I said, I've got a working screen, a working battery, um, and then other parts as well. So, yeah, another £100 brick. Nah. It's all knowledge and experience. He's still fresh to this. Yeah, exactly. It's all learning. But I won't lose money on it. I've got no chance of losing money on it. If you look on eBay, if we go on eBay and look at a A2251 LCD, pre-owned, £200 roughly. And they are selling it at that price as well, quite easily. So, I paid £133 for the entire machine. Um, if you go to sold items, like they're selling as little as a few days ago for like £250, £225 for... Uh, you know, £255 for grade A. Let's, have, let's find a grade B. Grade B, two hundred and fifteen pound. I'll get two hundred. I'll get two hundred pound for the key for the screen, and I've made a profit. 
I can make a profit just on the screen. I paid literally two hundred, uh, hundred and thirty-three pound for the machine. So no matter what, I'm turning a profit. So yeah, it's all good. Money in the bank, or I could just buy one with a fucked screen and use the screen. But the aim is to fix. The aim is to fix, but if I can't fix it, because I'm not a MacBook specialist, if I can't fix it, then, you know, it, I'm not really that bothered because I'm not going to lose that much money. On, I'm not going to lose any money on it. Um, like, even even the battery, like, you go back on eBay, you look for a 2251 battery, genuine battery. Uh So you look for an, an A2251 genuine battery. Uh, that's not... All right, let's get let's get rid of the word genuine because that seems to be skewing the results there. Uh, Ninety quid for a battery. They're copies. They're not genuine batteries. I'll probably get ninety quid for a pre-owned battery. Uh, the problem is I don't want to pay. I don't want to be paying hundred and eighty pound for a palm rest thingy. Um, like I don't want to be paying hundred and eighty pound for that. Just to know whether or not it's a keyboard. Um, but, like I said, I'll probably get 80 quid for the genuine battery. I know it works. I know it's good. Also, lad. How's it going, mate? Also, to maintain an income for more stuff to fix. Exactly, yeah. Maybe software reinstall the OS. No, it's not working. It's definitely hardware, hardware based fault, but I don't know. I'll speak to Paul Daniel, see if he's got any ideas on where I can uh, try next. You're going to do some more retro stuff? Yes, I am definitely going to be doing some more retro stuff. Knowledge over money sometimes. Not really, because you need knowledge to make money. Meanwhile, I goosed a bloody ribbon on a 2016 MacBook for the display and it has a portion of the screen there, semi not working. Ooh, rough. That's rough. We always have a <laughs> How's it going, mate? Um, yeah, I'm not giving up on it for now, but either way, I'm going to double my money on this whether I get it working or not. So I really couldn't give a shit. Um, I'll rip the CPU off and reball that if I have to and sell that just to make a bit of money. Like, there's probably 500 pounds worth of parts in this, if I was to strip it down properly. So, yeah, and the top case is in pretty good condition as well. Yeah, anyway, I am gonna go and grab another job. And uh, I'm gonna sideline that one. Ugh, sweaty hands, ugh, look at that, that's why I don't wear gloves, look, stupid, it's an old brainer, it is a brainer though, because the actual laptop is worth about 800, so I'm a little bit gutted though it's not working, but, like, I, I could probably get 800 for the laptop if I get it fully working, but, you know, it's just one of them things, I suppose. Oh man, that fan on my hands now that I've took them gloves off, that feels nice. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back in a minute. Don't go anywhere. One moment, please.
Right then. Give me a second. I'm going to work on a <coughs> Nintendo Switch. <coughs> I'm coughing my head off. Yeah, I'm going to work on a Nintendo Switch right now. Look at them burn marks. Yeah. So, I think I remember Console Repair London contacting me about this Switch. About how it's got a really, really dim backlight. Have you got a link for the Xbox schematics? It's on Discord, mate. I don't personally have a link, but it's on Discord. So, yeah. I think Console Repair London. Uh, anyone that don't know, Console Repair London's a business that sends me uh, B2B repairs. And... He contacted me asking me if I knew anything about a dim backlight on a Nintendo Switch. Like a really, really dim backlight. And sometimes you'll see the, di see the display, but it all glitch. And I believe he's already tried this on a non-working display. And it didn't work. So, I could be wrong. I don't know if he has for sure tried it on a non-working display. As far as I know, he has. Just found a Minecraft disc. Nice. So, yeah. It's currently charging at 0.23 amps. Which means that it's either really, really dead. Or it's fully charged. I think it's just really, really dead. I can see a Nintendo logo on there. Um, so when I pressed the power button just, I did see a Nintendo logo, you got a cold. No, I just feel a little bit, like my, my throat's a little bit, um, dry, that's all. Yeah, so it's not actually doing anything there because it's, it's, um, got the charging icon, but you can't see it. So it's a really, really, really dim LCD and as far as I'm aware, he's tried another connector on it, another uh, screen on it, but I could be wrong, you might not have done. But, while I'm charging it up a little bit, I am going to disassemble it, because either way, it's going to need to come apart, and I believe it's likely going to be the backlight driver. I've got a feeling this might be liquid damaged. I have a feeling it's liquid damage. What the hell is all over that? What's the deal with that? Someone stuck glue in there or something. Really? Yeah, so I've got a feeling this might be liquid damage around the backlight driver. Possibly. Yeah, I don't think this has been a part. So I don't know if he's tried a known good LCD. Screws feel... Factory. 
if that makes sense. The torque on the screws feel factory. And there's no damage to the screws at all. Like, no signs that they've been taken apart. I don't think a known LCD has been tried on this. Or a known good LCD, by the Right, what's my current charging rate? It is 0.48 amps. So it's now slow charging. It doesn't appear to have um, a display at the minute. I don't know if that's because it's just got the charging symbol and I can't see it. Uh, why has this been... Yeah, there's liquid damage here. So it's quite sticky there. So that should, yeah, that should come across under the scope. Got some sort of residue there. One thing I always make a point to make a point about is when I'm taking these apart, even though it might seem like I'm just freely taking screws out whenever I see a screw, I'm paying attention. Like, when I'm disconnecting ribbons and connectors and all of that sort of stuff, I'm paying attention to the state of the area that I'm looking at to see if I can see any signs of any kind of liquid damage or anything like that. I always make a point that that's important to do. Yeah, so we've got some... It's got some spillage on the LCD connector. got some damage on the NAND. Uh, the backlight is on. Okay, all right, board's gonna have to come out then. So I'm gonna leave it on charge for a little bit longer while I just uh, disconnect everything. This is a Hack 10, so one of the early revision boards, but this is definitely liquid damaged. So, Console Repair London can't have tried a known good LCD on this because he would have seen that it was uh, liquid damaged. And also, yeah, that's never been off. That phone's never been off there. Indicator's not pink, but definitely some liquid. Yeah, but the indicator will only go pink if the liquid damage actually hits the indicator as well. So, I never rely on them LDIs. I'm just going to warm that up just to soften the adhesive. Try and remove it without damaging it if I can. Well, nah, didn't work that time. Alright, sometimes it don't, it's fine. It's all good. Sometimes you can't help but to damage that adhesive. It doesn't hurt anything anyway. It just looks a lot more professional if you've not damaged it. Yeah, got some damage around the game card reader as well. Could end up having to replace that. Or at least attempt to repair it. So, any cable what's not going to cause catastrophic destruction by disconnecting it, I'm going to remove while it's still charging. I just want to get as much charge as I can into the battery while I'm going through the uh, disassembly, pro disassembly process. So that's going to be like the oil of the ribbons for like the fan, power buttons, Joy-Con rails, Wi-Fi connectors, speakers. Disconnect all that while it's still on charge just because it... It's not going to hurt anything by messing with it while power's running through. It just gives it that little bit more charge and saves me a little bit of time further on down the line. 
when it does come to actually testing it later on. So even the backlight, I can disconnect that. In fact, I'm going to keep the backlight on. I'm going to disconnect the battery for a second. Kill all power. And let's just see what happens now when I attempt to turn it on. Yeah, so it's not displaying anything at all. Um, oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, so it is turning on. You can see that there. It's really, really, really dim. So, and it's also flickering like mad as well. So you can see it just about. Well, can you see that? So it is booting, but it's just not uh, displaying properly. And I don't think it's going to be the backlight on the board. If anything, I think it's going to be a damaged LCD along with a damaged LCD connector. And I don't think this LCD connector is going to be salvageable, to be honest. Just given how bad it is. Doubt very much I'll be able to save it. Kid juice guaranteed. Yeah, does look like some sort of juice, yeah. We've also got some... Oh, never mind, that's thermal paste. Let me just get you under the microscope. Uh, so yeah, that, that was thermal paste, nothing to worry about there. Let me just get it in focus. There we go. And... Dun, 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 dun. Yep, that's not going to be saveable. So that connector's got to come off. That connector's got to come off. I think I think that we're going to have a, a liquid damaged LCD as well, to be honest. I'm just using my uh, hot air gun as a very expensive lighter. Alright, so just before they'll go ahead and just start randomly replacing stuff, I just want to go around the board so we've got some damage here this is going to need cleaning up a little bit of heat IPA and a good scrub should fix that um, maybe a little bit of scraping on some of the test points but the NAND appears to be working at least just want to remove the NAND so I can look underneath and yep that all seems good We've got no damage to the backlight connector, which is this one here. And I think the I think the liquid damage is pretty much isolated to this area here. So it looks like we've had some water ingress or some liquid ingress through the screen itself, which is what's making me think that we might end up having to replace the screen as well. We do have a little bit there which I'll have to take care of because that will eat away at those traces. And that is video data lines or image data lines. But it does look isolated to that one area. Uh, very, very slight there, but that's nothing. Now to worry about. So I'm expecting to see some liquid damage up 
here somewhere, possibly. No, it, it is definitely just isolated to that one area. That's kind of unusual. Like, that's not very often you come across that. Uh, backlight driver circuit seems fine. No damage there. So I don't think this is going to be an issue with the backlight. And I don't think... Just judging by the state of the LCD driver, which is this little chip up here, this little BGA up here, I don't think it's going to be that either. I think it's literally just going to be the connector and maybe a screen. How's it going, Taylor? Where's it go um, how are you, mate? I have a question about uh, Xbox One S Digital. Fire away, mate. Fire away. If I can't answer it, hopefully then someone else can. Um, all right. So, the problem is I can't test the screen until I know that the LCD connector is good, so I'm going to need to, I'm going to need to get the LCD connector replaced before I do anything else. Stop talking about it and change it. Bite me, you prick. <laughs> I'm going through my thought process, you bastard. Right. I don't normally use flux when removing connectors, but given that we've got damage... I think it's necessary to try and prevent any further damage. Don't want to be tearing traces. Got my hot air at 480, 40% airflow, and just heating up from the bottom. I'm going to get a lovely smell of some sort of juice. As this heats up. Yeah, so that is stuck on the uh, on the pad there on the left hand side. So I'll just give it a few more seconds before I actually lift it. Get rid of that connector. Let's see if the problem goes to the non working screen. Uh, well, I could, but the, I mean, it's too badly liquid damaged on the on this area, really. I don't want to risk damaging a working screen as well. Uh, right, let me give this a good scrub and I'll see, it, see the state of them other connectors. Look to take everything off to off the check the first go steps. Yeah, I like to remove components before I check it. <laughs> I'm backwards. I don't know if them connectors are going to be a problem. I don't think they are. A uh, little bit of residue on them, which I can scrape away in a minute. Other than that, I don't think they're going to be too much of an issue for the fan and power button. Yeah, a little bit of residue on them, but other than that, I think the connector themselves are fine.
Yeah, I'm happy that they they're okay. Okie dokie. Yeah, I'm going to leave them. I'm not worried about them. Right. Okie doke. Just tin up this connector. Two streams in a row. Yeah. Just to tilt the OCD freaks. Ha! Just to tilt the OCD freaks. It's in them test points. Oh Jesus, the aliens here. Oh God. What's up, Alien Jason? How's it going, dude? Right, I need a donor connector. Because <clears throat> I don't have any... Whoops. I don't have any brand new ones. So, I'm going to need... A donut. I'm too lazy to put in an order with AliExpress for components that cost pennies. So, yeah. Now I've got to use a donor board, which is always nice. <clears throat> Guys, I'm going to show Phil how to fix a cock. <laughs> Uh, that was my squeaky chair, not me burping. I'm removing this donor connector the same way that I'll remove the original, by the way. Just uh, 
make sure we get it lined up. Cool. So try and fix an iPod now that discontinued them. No, I've worked on iPods before, not a fan. Not a fan of working on iPods. Right, we're gonna see this drop in a second. Three, two, one. I said three, two, one. Hello? Oi, drop, you bastard. It might not drop. Didn't want it to anyway. Didn't want it to anyway. <clears throat> right. Seasal, seasal, seasal. I always make a point to open and close the latch quite a few times on these because I want to make sure I get all of the flux from outside the, out of the connector. That's managed to seep its way in because it does seep its way in no matter how much you put on there. Some intricate stuff going on. Meh. It's pretty straightforward stuff when you get used to it, to be honest. Um, it just takes a lot of practice, that's all. But that looks pretty good to me. Looks nicely lined up. Let's check the top. Yep, looks nicely lined up. Looks pretty well soldered. Cool. Cool. All right, so never trust connection by looks. That is very true, but I can't be asked to test it. <laughs> yeah. So can't be asked. Uh, one thing I do need to check. Ah, oh, this ribbon. Yep. Yeah. We're going to need to replace this LCD because this ribbon is fucked. <laughs> yeah, this ain't never working. No, not a chance in hell. Not a chance. Let me just get it in focus for me and then I can manually adjust. Where is this board from? This is a customer's board, mate. Yeah, that's gone. Oh, it's gone. See, a lot of people would be saying to me now, 
if this was on a video, I would be getting a lot of comments saying, can't you just run jumper wires? And yes, the answer is uh, yes, but that would make it more difficult to perform a repair in the future because you'd have to disconnect all the jumper wires. So yeah, that is gone. Like that, that ribbon's completely knackered. We're missing a trace completely. Um, so we're missing half a trace here, missing a trace completely there. That trace is broken. Um, yeah, that that's gone. Hard pass on jumpers. Yeah, I I never unless it's one of my own devices. I don't run jumpers to ribbons uh, or to removable components. Yeah, that ribbon's gone. This LCD is gone. Knackered. We need a new one. Is Fubar indeed? We definitely need a new LCD. That sucks. That sucks. Right, well, let's, uh, let's continue working on the board for a minute then because, yeah. Uh, be okay with a bit of WD 40 and some brute force. Yeah. Looks like Booter's Butthole. Ooh, Booter's Butthole. Sounds tasty. <laughs> right, well, let's just warm this up. So I've got my hot air at 190 degrees at the minute. And the reason for that is because it's going to make it easier to clean this shit up off here. Not going to leave that because... If it is some, well, it doesn't matter what it is, it's going to have some sort of acid in it or something. Especially if it's something like Coca-Cola or some other carbonated drink. Um, damn it, I'll just use the wrong side of that thing. So if it's some sort of carbonated drink, it's going to eat through the board. But either way, we don't want to be leaving that shit on there. So I'm just going to clean it up. As best as I can. Lick it, I dare ya. 50 quid donation and I will. <laughs> I'm joking. Don't, don't donate. I'm not licking it. Yeah, so that would have eaten away at some of these data line traces if, I, if I'd have left it long enough. And then it's going to come back under warranty and I'm going to have to do a NAND swap to a different board and it's a pain in the arse. So, yeah. What are that then? 50 quid coming up. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I'm not licking it. <laughs> that noise is horrific. What noise, mate? Do you mean the scraping? Yeah, sorry, mate. Nothing I can do there. Got to get this clean. Got to get it clean. Sorry, mate. 50p. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I think that's the cleanest I'm going to make it. This, uh, this writing's kind of indented sort of thing, so <laughs> it's a contract. <laughs> it's like you've got to lick it if someone donates 50 quid. No, 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 no. I'll lick it now. I'll lick it now. <coughs> I'll lick it now. It's clean. I'm glad we can all have a laugh. Oh, mate, that's what it's all about. If you can't have a laugh, what the hell's the point, right? I've got to have a laugh. 
Yeah, I think that's about the cleanest I'm going to get that. But I didn't want to leave it because of um, the future implications. So it's always best to sort it out now. Let me just grab a non-working screen. Preferably one without a board in it. Um... Right, now I'm working screen coming up. What would you lick for 50 quid? <laughs> oh, I was going to answer that with some very bad comment. <laughs> it involved your girlfriend or wife, fiance, whatever your. Statuses. <laughs> I don't need to lick it anyway. I got probes for that. Remember. <laughs> right. Anyway. <laughs> no one wants me. Well, didn't say you, did I? Oh, you've all been joking. <laughs> Danny wanted to see me lick it. <laughs> oh, dear. Voltage check. What do you mean on the battery? Meh. Hey, we got a display. She be working, boys. What's my... Well, that's a very dead battery, so... Uh, <laughs> 0 0.14 amps. Oh, I want you a few thousand miles away. <laughs> um, yeah. So... That's working. But I'm not going to take that display because... Um, that's my test housing. So... I'm going to take a display from this one. This one will do. The liquor. <laughs> 190 degrees Celsius. Uh, I'll start on this corner here. Fairly warm. Should have softened up the adhesive. Do you have a Hoover? Um, what do you mean by a Hoover? You mean like a full size hoover or like a mini one? Yeah. Right, where's my pry tool? I did have one. A pry tool, and uh, now I don't know where it's gone. Hmm, I had a guitar pick here somewhere. Doesn't matter if I damage this digitizer, but I would rather not.
because this is one of my uh, test housings. Just heating up the sides and putting a little bit of pressure on it. It's just going to soften up the adhesive. I'm going to put my gloves on in a second so as I'm not risking smudging the LCD at all. As I disassemble it. Yoink! It's mad how they get scratched. Like considering that's never been off. Like it's it's pretty crazy how they get scratched up. Right, let me grab a fresh pair of gloves. <clears throat> Told you to stop telling my secrets. Jason. Hoover's a brand anyway, bitches. So no, I don't have a Hoover. I've got a Henry. <laughs> Who's that ugly reflection? Mate, you really need to get rid of the mirrors in your house. <laughs> Right, anyway, the return of the pink finger, indeed. Henry with the turbo function. Yep, anyway, <laughs> let's uh, pop that to one side for a minute while I remove this LCD, I'll start in this corner again where there's no ribbons Get my entry point. I always use the speaker grill as my entry point because the speakers are down on this corner. 
So I always use the speaker grid as my entry point, which makes it a lot easier and saves risking damage in the case. You could use IPA to assist you as well, but I'd rather not. So the screen itself, I don't care about damaging on this one. It's the digitizer I don't want to damage because I don't really fancy replacing the digitizer for free. There we go. Get rid of that. Cool. Uh, yep, that way. Right, and it's this LCD I need. Hopefully I can get the LCD off the digitizer without damaging it. They uh, tend to like to stick whenever the LCD works. When the LCD don't work, you can bet your sweet ass it never sticks to the digitizer. But when the LCD works, you can bet your sweet ass it's not going to stick. It's going to stick. And you've got to separate it, which means you've got to put pressure on it and risk damaging it. And poof goes twenty pound down the drain. Actually, I think I think they're more than that for a genuine screen, like 20, thirty pounds, something like that. I'll just slice down the edge with my finger, and release that screen. Pinky and the Brit. <laughs> I'm going to add a bit of heat to the last little bit. Yeah, 
There we go. Doesn't appear to have been damaged. Didn't hear any cracks. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Sweet. Uh, I believe that's the original digitizer. Yes, it is because it had a mark there. Cool. Let's drop that in loosely. If you remove the adhesive, if you remove the front assembly properly, you can reuse the adhesive as well. I usually put a bit of B7000 down as well, but, yeah. Right. Let's get this out of my test housing. I'm going to test it before I put it fully back together. Not a chance Phil will catch a sheep. That sounds like a challenge to me. Let's just hope that the game card really works on this. Let's hope I haven't got to replace that as well. Because if I have, then it's kind of pretty much beyond economical repair and I've just wasted my time. There we go. Well, I'm going to put in the um, Phillips screws for the board just to hold that in. Whoops, couldn't even see a thing I was doing then. Never mind. Oh well. 
let me just uh, inspect this game card reader real quick. I think it's got a little bit of liquid damage. Yeah, teeny tiny bit, not much. Let's just heat this up, do the same as what I did with the um, NAND EMMC. Heat it up. You almost look like a professional. On what, mate? What, putting it back together? Ah, oh, they're easy. Oh, I'm a grumpy old man as well, don't worry. I think that's just residue, I don't think it's damaged anything. You're a practical tech, not a theory tech. Yeah, pretty much. Couldn't agree more with that statement. Theory never worked in the real world. When I were five buggers were delicious. You know what? I had this conversation with someone earlier. Cody sat there eating his buggers. And someone said he was disgusting. I was like, there's a kid. Leave him alone. Like, If he wants to eat his buggers, let him eat his buggers. Well, we call it snot. But <laughs> if he wants to eat his snot, let him eat his snot. Stop being a bitch. Uh, I, do work, I do some work on PCs. But the problem is I haven't really got the room for them in this workshop. Right, them fires look okay. Um, eh. One in chat if you still eat buggers. Danny said, Danny said, drop a one in chat if you still eat buggers. <laughs> I put a load of ones in chat. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sure most kids, ki most kids ate buggers and snot. I know I did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did as well. And not that I fondly remember it, but I'm pretty sure I probably did. All kids do it. It's just normal. Kids delete anything that come out of any fucking orifice. It sounds disgusting, but it's true. <laughs> Pick the bum too. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I just missed that because it just got buried. Uh, which which chat? No, most of the Twitch messages are not read. PS is my one. Uh, I do try and read them. Um, not many people really talk on Twitch. Um, which is fine. Can't beat flicking those voice crispies. Yeah. I think the game card reader should be okay. Um, ugh, might be corroded inside. A little bit. Um, bit of IPA to break it up.
I'm not going to get anything down there that can clean inside there. So and we just have to hope for the best on that. What's the deal in there? What's that? Oh, never mind. Put some IPI in a cart and push it in and out. Yep, yeah, I think that's probably the best option, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll sort that in a minute. Was that the start of Mumbai number five? Yes, indeed. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody's outside, so come on, let's drive to the builder's yard around the corner. <laughs> Mambo number five. Man, I feel like a woman. Who remembers Boogerman? I don't. All right then. Let's see what happens, shall we? Boom. Nintendo. Battery dead. Let's charge it. Nice. Take a bigger part two and spit. <laughs> Taking it back. Taking what back? <laughs> Taking what back? Yeah, buddy. Right, I need to... Give everything a full test now. I've taken it back to the days of no snowflakes. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get these gloves off. What's next? Uh PS4 Slim. Flick buggies in the goal. <laughs> Man, the chat gets dark at night. <laughs> Thank you, Grant. Grant Walker, Walker super, super shattered one pound. Yeah. All right, and you do it in dollars, then you prick. <laughs> Thank you, Grant. I appreciate that. People get upset now when you sneeze. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, right, okay. So, let's uh, let's give the Digi a test. I can see it working, but I just want to test it fully. So, test touchscreen. I went off screen then, yeah. Doesn't appear to be any dead spots. That's fine. So if you go off screen, it, it cancels it, look. Uh, yeah, it doesn't appear to be any dead spots, so definitely no damage to the DJ. Um, so, yeah. That all appears to be working. One thing I do need to do is just realign the digitizer, though, because that's not lined up.
See how well that sticks back down with that original adhesive. And if you do it properly, you just genuinely don't need to replace um, the adhesive because it just sticks straight back down. It's perfect. It's really strong, that original adhesive is. Genuinely. Ban from local Tesco's for wearing Borat costume. Oh, God. <laughs> Some weirdos in here. Another, fi another fine fix on console safe on landfill. Yeah, indeed, mate. Uh, what is that there? Is that part of the adhesive? I think so. I'll clean it tomorrow anyway. Don't worry. Uh, right, okay. Let me test. I... Oh, I bet I haven't even got a game card up here. You know what? I don't think I have. Um, don't think I've got game cards up here because Sarah took them all when we went away. Um, so I don't think I've got any test cards available. They all got nicked. As they always do. My test cards always get nicked. Which is always nice. So I'm going to have to go downstairs and get one. Um, yeah. Back in a minute. I'm going to go and grab a test cart. I might as well grab a fresh coffee while I'm there, actually.
Right. One thing I have got to do. He's been gone for two hours. No, no, no. One thing I have got to do is organize this shit. <coughs> In a little while. Right, so let me just uh, actually let me grab some Joy Cons. Uh, you must have heard you. Yes, I did. I am an alien, remember? Right. That one sinks. Gotta find another one for the right hand side. Cause I'm an alien, alien. Where's all my fucking left hand, right hand test joy cons? Who's nicked all my test joy cons? Oh, they're all under here. Never mind. Nice tech treasures. Yeah, they all got delivered over the last week. Uh, yep. Joy cons work. Do they work wirelessly? Well, that one does. This one don't because this one's completely dead. Uh, it is picking up anyway. I don't think the Joy-Con actually works. Actually, don't seem to work wirelessly. Has it crashed? Has that just crashed on me? He's looking for his joystick, yeah. Damn it. Right, that's flicking because of the type of charge I use. As soon as I do this, it'll stop flicking. There you go. For some reason the system crashed. Not sure why. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. Yep, reads a game. Cool. Uh options, data management, delete software. There you go. Cool. Okay. So, yeah, it's reading the game and stuff. So, I'll do a full test on it tomorrow. But for now, it seems to be working. So, I'm going to put it back together. Light runner, how's it going, dude? Yeah, seems to be okay. Uh, I'll have to keep an eye on that crash thing. So I'll give it a full test tomorrow. But for now, this job is done.
Uh, if it comes to it where the crashing is because of that liquid damage on the NAND, then I'm going to have to swap that chip onto a new NAND. Hiding the AliExpress treasures. Now, nah, it's literally just... Um, I've got a pack of... A pack of Xbox Series X ports. So I've got like 10 Xbox Series X ports. Um, 20... 20 PS5 USB ports and 30 USB, sorry, 20 PS5 HDMI ports and 30 USB ports for the PS5. Um, so yeah, they come last week. Fucking over 100 pounds worth of friggin' ports there, it's ridiculous. But prices are getting absolutely ridiculous for things. What's that? Mixed Mixed Master 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 oh. Is that renewals? If it go, if it goes one more, then I think it is. Yes, it is. Daily renewals. Became is that all of them? I think so. Thank you, guys. May or may not be here, but thank you for the money at your bank. <laughs> I appreciate you. Did you ever get that pink switch, or did the nobber keep it for themselves? Which switch was that, mate? Do you mean the PSP? Uh, no, I never got it. No, I never won it. Oh, I'll definitely make my money back with these ports, mate. Um, these USB ports, I charge sixty for one, eighty for two to change them. And I've got 30 of them, so... <laughs> yeah, fair bit of money to be made off them ports, mate, yeah. You are definitely right there. And it is a fairly common thing as well, so... Yeah, 100% for real. Right, well, that is the last bit of thermal paste out of that tube. Um, it's all good. All good. Plenty more thermal paste. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, how's it going, Nick? How you doing, buddy? How be life treating you on this fine day? Yeah, so even just the USB ports alone, there's uh, some really good money to be made in them. What's your favourite brand of coffee? Um, I'm, well, I'm, I'm drinking Nescaf, but I also like... Uh, if I'm drinking instant coffee, it's Nescaf. Uh, actually, no, it's not my favourite brand, actually. Nescaf is just um, cheap enough, sort of thing. Uh, my favourite brand is Dow Egberts. Um, but it's expensive, so I don't buy it. If I'm drinking... Tassimo, then I'll buy the um, morning brew things, you know, them yellow pods. I can't remember what they're called. Oh, I'm definitely a true slack ethnic. You know this, mate. And you know this, man. I'm definitely a true slacker. We all know I'm a slacker. Oh, cause I'm a maniac, maniac. Right, so. For now this appears to be working, so I am going to pour, if I've got any up here, a warranty sticker, yep, there we go. I'll put a warranty sticker on it. And I'll give it a full test tomorrow when it's fully charged. Evening fill again. <laughs> I'm liking Nescafe Derek, but it's coffee's good. Yeah. 
Derek Brits is nice. Uh, my mum used to buy Derek Brits, so every time we used to go down, I used to have like three or four cups of it. Because she didn't drink nowhere near as much coffee as me. So every time I used to go and visit my mum, I used to drink um, drink all the Derek Brits. She used to go mental. She used to go absolutely nuts at me. Get a cafeteria and ground beans. Too much work. <laughs> Too much work. I like my coffee there and then. Yeah, my mum used to go nuts at me for drinking all the coffee. Also, I like macchiato. Uh, I've never tried that. Never tried it. Nescafe Instant can't be faulted. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff, and usually I buy it when it's. Usually I buy like two or three jars while it's on offer. Like if I get it on off, if I see it on offer for a five or for a big jar, I'll buy it, and I'll buy like two or three jars. It's usually on offer like once a month in Morrison's. It's a hard skill to look busy. Couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. That's why I leave a messy desk. Makes me look busy. <laughs> right. Their egg brits is piss water. I do like their egg brits. I don't think it's piss water. I think it, it's not as strong as some coffees, but I'm not really a fan of strong coffee anyway. Like, not really strong coffee. Like, I'll have one full spoon of Nescaf. Um, but, like, my sister will take two full spoons. So I couldn't do that. Yeah, I'll give this a full test tomorrow. But the main issue it's been sent in for is sorted. And I'm happy that it's working. And now I need my Skaroja driver. There it is. Just coffee and milk. No coffee, no milk, three sugars. Actually, two I've cut down. I only have two much, two sugars now, two spoons of sugar. Um, so yeah, I've cut down in the past couple of weeks because of uh, the whole dehydration thing. I've also cut down on coffee, full stop. Like, I don't drink as much coffee as I used to. Still probably excessive, but I drink a lot more water now. Or well, I try to. I try to drink more water. I try and drink at least a litre a day. Just because uh, I dehydrated myself and ended up pretty much collapsing. So, yeah. Yep, there we go. So, the main issue on this has been sorted out. Uh, so, just a little bit of liquid damage to replace the connector. Bit of a clean up. Job done. Happy days. Oh, and the LCD. Forgot about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, happy days. All seems to be working. I will give it a full test. It needs the docking functions, testing, um, speaker functions, uh, extended use. Speakers are working. Headphones, blah, blah, blah. All of that good stuff. But for now, it's done. Happy days. Super Super vegan vegan shared shared 50. 50. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that, mate. Right, okay, so I'm going to shut this down. 
There we go. And uh, job done. Needs a clean as well. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Mortaf. I appreciate that. Three hour rehearsal tonight, made your fingers sore. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you're playing in a band, aren't you? I forgot about that. Right, drinking the old merch mug. Cause I'm a maniac, maniac. Well, all righty then. A bit of thermal paste all over the place. I'm going to be buying um, in the next week or two a couple of new desks and these desks I'm going to move into the middle of the well not into the middle of the room but like I'm, I'm going to adjust it slightly so as the so as the TV is a backdrop and I can have a camera behind the desk um, that's going to be the plan for in a couple of weeks. Did you order the Nexus sockets? Not yet, mate, no. Um, it, it was my son's birthday today, so I haven't really done anything until, up until he went to sleep. Um, as soon as he went to sleep, I've come in the workshop and started streaming. Um, but until he went to sleep, I had to go and get party food. We had to have a little party for him and stuff like that. So I haven't, I haven't done anything yet. Talking of connectors, wish him happy birthday. Thank you, mate. Uh, talking of connectors, yeah. Don't think I've got a place for the. Um, don't think I've got a place for the PS. PS5 USB ports. I could put them in the encoder socket though. Just so I've got a couple to hand. Uh, that's got my Series X ports in it. I was completely out of PS5 ports. I do have in the queue a PS5 with liquid damage, but. I think it might be a bit too late to work on that tonight. What did you get him for his birthday? I took him to Smith's with a credit card and gave him free vein. <laughs> Big mistake. <laughs> Took him to Smith's with a credit card and literally just let him throw whatever the hell he wanted in a basket. <laughs> he took every single Feynman Sam thing in that place. I want a box like that one. These are pretty cool, these boxes are. Um, this is called um, Aid Tech Box All. You can buy them off AliExpress. A kid with a credit card, yeah. Kid with a credit card. Big mistake. Well, I didn't. I don't think I actually put it on my credit card. I think I just put it on normal debit card. He only spent hundred and seventy-seven pounds. Only. 
I think I'd only got used my credit card. I ended up putting it on debit card. I was honestly expecting about three hundred pound to be honest with you. Right, that's enough ports in there. Just about closes. This is ex the exact one I bought. Yeah, these are pretty good. These are pretty good. So I've got seven spare ports there. I'm going to put some of these USB ports into. Um, where shall I put them? HDMI encoders, one, yeah. There we go. I need to relabel these anyway because we can't buy the HDMI encoders yet. I need another box actually, just for ports. Surprised you didn't want a new phone. You know what? I replaced his screen last week. He fucking broke it again. And I can't even get mad because he doesn't understand. Like with it, with the autism and everything, he just doesn't understand. So how's it going, Kev? By the way, I hope you're all good, mate. Three hours, Kev set kept me on the phone last week. Uh, the other day, three hours. He missed me. I think he missed me. Don't think his wife would have been too happy if she saw how, how long we was on the phone for. MX Five is plop. I agree. I agree. Oh, come on, Malfo. Yeah, I need a, another box, but just with these big ports in, I think. There we go. That'll do. Well, that'll do for them anyway. Uh, Series X. Drop the Series X in this one. About to attempt a HDMI replacement on a 1S, but need a hot air station before attempting. Uh, I would recommend the Atten, mate. The ST862D, personally. It's a good machine. Very good value for money. It's on par, if not better, than the Quick, because it's got a cold function and um, buttons on the handle. And it's uh, half the price. So, I would very much recommend it. See if I can get all ten in here. Doubtful. Doubtful. Stop. Stop what? Stop what? Stop what? Gonna squeeze down the side. Oh well. It's not gonna squeeze down the side. That will do. No. Nope. Sit down, you bastard. There you go. Now that will do. Cool. There we go. There we go. There we go. Sorry, just a little bit of. Uh, Organisation next. Yeah, I'm gonna do one more. Gonna do one more. Ugh. All right then. These has some spillage is that black coffee it is mate yeah I don't I don't drink milk I don't like milk it's disgusting right this has got a little bit of spillage but it looks like it's just on the top so it's fine it's fine Huh. 
Well, I'll clean that before it goes back. Never mind. I shall clean it before it goes back. Alright, so. That PS4 has got milk on it and coffee. It's got something on it. That's quite sticky, so. Uh, but this has been sent in. According to the ticket, it says PS4 Slim, no power to the Blu ray drive, and 2 terabyte hard drive replacement. But. The two terabyte hard drive replacement, it says um, leave that for console repair London to do. So that is what I'm going to do. Let's just confirm it all works first and that we've got an issue with the disk drive. You should drink milk, it's good for your teeth and bones. Mm, it is, but I just don't like the taste, mate. IPA won't remove sugar. No, it won't. You've got a point. Right, okay. So, yeah, I just don't like the taste of milk. Never have. I haven't drunk, I haven't drunk milk in coffee since... Uh, I was about nine. Right, do we get a white light? We do. Have you ever tried coffee, mate? Uh, I have. I don't like that either. Right, so I do get... Oh, shit, this is a PS4. Damn it. Uh... Yeah, that HDMI capture card's not going to work with the PS4. That one's for my TV. Oh, mate, I've drunk coffee all my life. Uh, capture card... F no, no, that's, that's capture, capture card, card one, wrong one. There we go. That capture card works with it. So the reason it doesn't work with um, with the other capture card is because it's got HDCP enabled, which means that it's not going to output to a capture card because of high definition content protection. So I've got one that removes HDCP, and that's why I have to use that one for PS4s. Um, all right. Well, we get a display. But it's been reported as no power to the disk drive. So let's try inserting a disk. Doesn't matter though, it's an Xbox disk. Um, yep, that is completely dead. Okay, so. Let's just shut it down. There we go, double beep. Coffee at 1.20am, no shit's given. Oh mate, I'll drink coffee at 4am and then still go to sleep. It doesn't affect me. I've drunk it too long. It's just just like a normal drink to me. People drink tea at night, but tea's got tea's got caffeine in as well. All right, so let's wait for that to shut down. You repair PS3s? No, mate, I don't. Right, okay. That'll do. Cool. So this is likely going to be one of three scenarios. It could be the disk drive, but that is unlikely at best. Uh, so it could be the disk drive, but the most likely scenario is it's going to be F6202. It should be a nice, straightforward job, hopefully. Famous last words, of course. But it should be a nice, simple job. Uh, 
And if if F6201 is blown, so there's two fuses on the board, marks F6202 and F6201, which control the disk drive motor and the disk drive sensor for when you're inserting and ejecting a disk. And uh, <coughs> normally when you've got a disk drive issue, that is what's blown. If F6201 has blown, then chances are, even after we replace the fuse, we're not going to get a working disk drive because it's likely going to have taken out the Renesas uh, disk drive uh, decryption chip or whatever the hell it is. It handles decryption of the disk drive and it's not replaceable. So, usually when that happens, it's a no fix. More caffeine in tea. As far as I know, there is, yeah. So let's just hope that F6201 hasn't blown. I'm just going to get this disassembled real quick. There we go. A lot of screws. Meh. Guessing bad news at the slim. Nah, they usually they usually just the fuse, mate. It's not very often. The percentage of Renaissance failures compared to just a standard fuse failure is slim. <laughs> Jacket's on feels chilly. I'm actually not. I'm actually quite warm. I don't even know why. Don't even know why I've got it on. Actually, yeah, I do. I put I put my coat on because it's difficult to keep my microphone on my shirt without it rustling. Whereas if it's on my coat, then um, it's a lot easier uh, because I can clip it to the zip. If that makes sense. So I'll just put my coat on anyway. All right, I think this is going to be an SA. D003 model, I think. Uh, not a clue till I get into it, but I think it's the SAD003. There we go. What screw have I left in there? Is it just tight? I mean, he thinks it's just tight. <laughs> yep. SID002. Close enough. Yank. That one never comes apart cleanly. So the reason I generally know which revision it is, or which revision family, is based on the antennas around the power supply and the screw locations. You just get used to that kind of stuff. Oh, come on, mofo. Ow. Yeah, you get used to where the screws are on different revisions, because they do have different locations. Get out. 
A lot of people use um, pliers for them. I never use pliers. Okay. And someone smashed up the thermal pad. Probably me. Never mind. It's just a safe bridge. Doesn't get hot anyway. Don't even know why it's there. <coughs> Step number one. Clean up the thermal paste. That's going to be changed. There we go. Cool. And step number two. I'm going to get the microscope. And now I've got to reconfigure everything, so you're going to get a no signal screen for a minute. While well, I just reconfigure it because I've just unplugged everything like a dick. And changed all my scenes around. Come on, pick up my microscope. There we go. Thank you. Right then. So F6202 and F6201 is just here. So you've got a big Renaissance chip. That's what controls the disk drive. That's what decrypts the disk drive, tells it that it's got a genuine disk in, all of that kind of stuff. And if that fails, it's game over. But just above there, this is on the far left hand side of the APU. But just above there, we've got two little fuses just there. And those fuses are usually what blow. So. Let's have a look. So I'm going to put my multimeter in beep to beep 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 mode, and that is the official term for it. And I'm going to check for continuity on the fuse. And we have no continuity on F6202. So F6202 is on the left hand side, it's indicated by this straight line. And F6201 is on the right hand side, that one is good. So what we should get is continuity from this big pad here to here. Um, we don't because this fuse here is blown. So it should come through here, through this fuse, and then across to here. But we don't get continuity because that one is bad. So it should just be a simple case of swap this fuse and uh, call it good. So I'll add one millipole of fo fox. One millipole of fox? Yeah, let's add one millipole of fox. YouTube algorithm, I said flux, not fox. Thank you. And that fuse is, of course, going to break because it's completely and utterly gone. The fuse is going to break before it even comes off. That's always nice. Always happens on them fuses when they fail. They just break down. Add another merely pole of flux. Always indeed, la la, always indeed. There we go, just reaching them pads. Ready to accept a new fuse. Just as soon as I've grabbed one off a donor board because I don't have any. So I'm going to grab one off a PS4 Pro board, that's got no APU, 
Why not? I should probably test the fuse first and make sure it works. Ha! <laughs> no, it don't. Ha 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 ha. That one don't work. Good job I tested that. That was two millipoles of flux. Oh, okay. That might not work then. Okay, these fuses on this board are good. Cool. So I shall take these ones. There we go. Cool. Everyone arguing over milk. <laughs> oh dear. No point crying over spilt milk. Indeed. Right, that should be continuity restored. Boom. Yeah. Continuity restored. Quick clean up, get rid of that leftover flux. Dry your eyes, mate. I know it's hard to take, but her mind has been made up. There's plenty more fish in the sea. Job done. Dry your eyes, mate. Let's use some thermal paste and keep this console cool now. Do 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 do. <whistles> Damien, how's it going? Thermal pasta. Thermal pasta. Thermal pasta. Demo pasta, demo pasta, demo pasta. Yoink. It's going to get this all hooked back up. And then we're going to give it a test. At first I was afraid, I was petrified Kept thinking no, I'm never gonna fix this board No matter how hard I try Did 
just ask Google. <laughs> All right then, here we go. Right, quick poll. <coughs> Very hot song. <laughs> Actually, nah, fuck the poll. Should I go for broke and just put it back together, or should I just test it first? have faith. Test first and put back together. All screws in. All screws in, it'll all go broke. Full G. Do you not wonder why the fuse blew in the first place? Normally, just because people have just got a disc stuck and they keep trying to put it in and out. Uh, these fuses are just weak as shit anyway. That's why they break down as soon as you try and remove them when they've failed. Um, it's never normally anything other than the fact that someone's tried to, uh, someone's got something jammed in the disc drive, uh, or the kids like constantly taking discs in and out and things like that. Um, if it was a normal circuit, I would say, yes, you investigate why the fuse has blown, because there's normally a reason for it, but on the PS4 Slim, no. And the PS4 Pro, just not as often on the Pro. Just an overheated component. Just it works, full gangster, yeah. I'm thinking that. It should work, it should be fine. Um, I think I've, I've, I'll probably get one in a hundred of these come back for the fuse failing a second time, to be honest. Like, probably one in a hundred. Very, very rare. Because it normally it's just down to someone getting something jammed in the disk drive or, um, overworking the disk drive, like constantly taking it in and out because the disk disk's not loading. So obviously, as you as you run current through the fuse, so as you putting it in and out, and the sensor's working, it's magic and blah blah blah. It's generating heat, and as it's generating heat, it uh, the uh, it puts more stress on the fuse. The, the fuse is the weakest point in the circuit, so it's normally the first thing to fail because of that. But normally, if it was like a normal circuit, like a normal power rail or something, and the fuse blew, I'd be like, yeah, you got to find out why it's, why it's blown, because there's a reason for it. It's a pain in the arse with the, um, the PlayStation 4 and fuses blowing. Like, even on the, even on the Xbox, like, you don't get blown fuses on the disk drive circuit. Normally, you get a bad MOSFET if you get liquid damage in the area, but that's about it. The reason I'm not cleaning the heat sink is because this looks in fairly clean condition. It looks like it's been cleaned recently. Can't put those screws in. The power supply is not in yet.
Kevin Civil owes me some money as well. Civil 2004 on the chat. He owes me some money. He phoned me for three hours the other night. <laughs> and um, I'd fixed a board for him ages ago. Like, ages and ages ago. Um, and I gave it him back and he never tested it. And then he, he was phoned me and he was like, oh, quick question while I'm on the phone. This board you fixed, I'm still not getting no display out of it, but you sent me a picture of it working. It should be on version 6.02, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, yeah, I remember that one. I was like, have you cleaned your HDMI cable, Kev? He's like, no, never cleaned it. I was like, what do you do with that HDMI cable? He's like, oh, I use it for everything. I usually, usually use it for my PS3, along with my PS4, PS5, Xbox, blah, 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 and a test cable. I'm cleaning the cable. He fixed three consoles. <laughs> three consoles just by... Uh, just by cleaning his HDMI cable. And now he says, I owe him money. That is true, I owe him 30 quid. But I ain't got his bank details, so I can't send it to him. So, send me your bank details and I'll send it to you. Not bad. Fucking not bad. I owe him 30 pounds. Will the disk drive work? Should we put a... Yeah, let's put a, a gamble on uh, Twitch, shall we? Um... Yeah, why not? Where's my Twitch? There it is. Let's put a gambly thing on Twitch. Prediction, there we go. That's what it's called. Uh... Oh, hold up. What the hell? Oh, I've got a complete prediction. I just had to complete a prediction for a random one from the other day. Well, that was fucking stupid. I forgot to do it. Ha! <laughs> Start prediction. Will the disk drive work? Yup. Nope. There we go. Gambly gambly. At first I was afraid and I was petrified. I don't care about the £30. No, really, I, I owe you £30, but I just haven't got your bank details, so... Please send it me, so I can pay you. Please send me your bank details, Mr. Civil. Kev's going to phone me after the stream. You owe me 30 quid. <laughs> no, I, do, I genuinely haven't got your bank details though, mate. But if you do send them me, I will send you the money. Because I do owe you the money. Kev bought something for me. I think it was a Tamagotchi. Like an old like 1990s Tamagotchi. Brand new for Sarah. Um, well, it was originally for me and Sarah nicked it. But, yeah. That time I got you died five times in the first two days. Terrible. <laughs> the first I was afraid I was petrified. Who's child stomped off and unsubbed? You owe me thirty pound bollocks, do I?
Who stomped off and un unsubbed? I want to see you unsubbed. My quads, hmm. Well, if people want to unsub, that's their choice. I am not going to piece and wine, if I'm being honest. Gangster. Should we go full, full gangster and even put a warranty sticker on it? Mike and Danny had a ding dong over milk. Well, <laughs> that is a bit petty, to be honest. Arguing over milk, that's a bit silly. If people are going to unsub for that, then... Well, not really much I can say. <laughs> Warranty sticker over the power port. Yes. Genius. Why do I love milk? No, you love cock milk. Stop lying. <laughs> Warranty sticker over the HDMI port. Second they plug it in, they've got no warranty. <laughs> yeah, man. Let's put a warranty sticker on it. Fuck it. Yoink. Do you have more PS5s or PS4s to work on? I do, but it's 2am, so I probably won't work on another one tonight. Um, it's one of them things I need to be up early in the morning for the school run and stuff. That's why I don't normally stream on a Monday, on a Sunday. Beep. Right, will the disk drive now work? Let me find a proper PS4 disk now. Because now it is going to matter whether I put a PS4 disk in. Because I need to know if it's going to read as well. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know where my PS4 discs are. Is that one? Yes, FIFA 16. Right, ready? Boom. Boom. Yeah, let's move on. Come on. Let's move on about the milk. It's kind of irrelevant. Right. Yeah, we don't need to be arguing over milk. Right, I need my PS4 controller. I haven't had that for a while either. So, where the freck is it? I haven't had that for a little while. There it is, it's on the floor. Lovely. Do I dare ask what was spilt on it? Human excrements. <laughs> I think. I think it's coffee, it's sticky, so I hope it's coffee. 
Right, controller sync indeed. Yes, there we go. So I'm just going to play as a guest. Skip sign in. There we go. Okay, now I can show you guys the display. Uh, just as soon as I plug back in my USB cable for my mouse because I really need to buy some more micro USB cables. A62D versus A61DW. A62D. Lick it, fill, and use your coffee tasting skills. £50 donation. <laughs> there we go. And FIFA 16 is loading. So, that is a job done. Another one working. Uh, let me just manage the prediction, choose outcome, yes, complete prediction, boom. Cannot start the application. Hmm. So this drive works. 41839. I've never come across that error code. Um... Corrupted file. Well, it does state uh, two terabyte hard drive replacement on the ticket. So, this hard drive might be faulty. Um, could be that the disk's dirty, but it's... According to that error code, it's a corrupted file. So, because it does show up as... Uh, or because it's on the ticket saying 2 terabyte hard drive upgrade. So, that means someone's sending it in for an upgrade. But the question I need to ask is, why are they upgrading it? So, yes, they can just upgrade it for the sake of wanting to upgrade it. But, is the, disk drive, is the hard drive faulty and they've decided to just get a bigger hard drive in the process? Or whether they're just upgrading it because they just want more storage. I do not know. That is a question I cannot answer. So, my job is done. Um, for now, at least. Sounds like a game disc could be. It is a test disc after all. Right, I'm just popping this back in. Danny, can you speak to me in Discord, mate? Math30Z just subscribed on Twitch. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. This has also got a faulty disk drive. This has also got also got a faulty laser. I need to say something, but just want to be a user to say it. Uh, that kind of makes it a little bit awkward, mate. To be honest, it depends what you want to say because I can't allow arguments on the channel. So that kind of makes it a little bit awkward, mate. I'm not going to lie. I'm 
I mean, if you really want me to remove your spanner, I can remove the spanner, but... Okay. A silly argument that should never have happened. Well... I didn't catch a context, but yeah, right. That disc is not reading. Um, but yeah, what I will say is I can't have arguments on the channel, regardless of who it is. If, you, if you've got grievances with people, the only thing I'm going to suggest is just don't talk to each other. Because life is too fucking short for arguments, trust me. Life is way too short for arguments. I don't have another PS4 disc around. Uh, I've just cleaned the disc. It's not reading it. I think it's got a faulty laser, and the problem with that is... Is the customer going to pay for it? I need to f I need to f check whether the customer is going to pay for it because that's probably why the fuse is blown. Uh, to be honest, so I think I need to hold off on this and find out if the customer is going to pay for a disk drive. Um, pretty much just because they're already going to be paying for a hard drive replacement and. Um, a fuse replacement from me. So are they going to pay for a laser or a disk drive replacement at the same time? This is something different. It says on Google that it's a corrupted game. Uh, I could be wrong, but it says corrupted game. Uh... But yeah, I think I'm going to have to put it on hold. I haven't got another PS4 disc around. Um, yeah, that sucks. <clears throat> I'd love to know what's happened to all of my PS4 discs. Cause I had about 15 of them at one point. And now I can't find any. I think the disc monsters took them. I bet there's none in any of these cases. No. Not in any of them cases. Right. That's fucking annoying. I'll just use them as frisbees. Yeah, probably. Maybe try Blu ray movie. I don't own any, to be honest. Yeah, listen, I'm sick of hearing about milk. I'm going to be honest. I really don't care about milk. It's completely irrelevant. It's completely irrelevant. I think the entire chat is probably sick of hearing about milk as well. 
I get what you're saying, Danny, but at the same time, sometimes you just need to let things go. Oh, I'm going to try a different disc. This is Monster Hunter World. Yeah, that's a bad laser. It's an unrecognised disc on all of them. That's probably what's blown it in the first place. Um, sorry, Danny, I'm just being honest, mate. I'm just being honest. People, people don't want to hear it. People don't want to hear arguments and don't want to read arguments in chat when they're trying to watch a stream. And even more so when the guy that he was arguing with has left. The guy, the guy is gone. It's the argument's done. It's finished. It's over. Sorry, but I don't want to see arguments in my chat. It's not good for the entire channel. People just don't want to see it. Change the laser. I can't till I've got permission, mate. I can't till I've got permission. Wait, they work briefly before blowing out. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. Um, it's good that it's happened before. Um, it's good that it's happened before uh, it went back. Because at least now it's not going to come back under warranty. It's either a case of, yes, I want it doing, charge me for it, or it's a case of, no, I don't want it doing, let's call it a null fix. It's not much of a loss. Um, yeah. I mean, I've got... Brand new disc drives with brand new lasers. Loads of them. But I can't change it until I know for sure that it wants it doing. Yeah, have a good night, uh, Chris. Will it read on its side? Uh, I'm not going to put it on its side, mate, because I've got a risk of damaging the um, HDMI cable then. Uh, or rather the HDMI, <coughs> the HDMI port. So, yeah. How much for a laser? Um, I don't buy the lasers. Um, it don't really make much sense to buy the lasers. For the cost, for the price of what I paid for these, brand new, uh, I think I paid something like 35 or 40 pound for these brand new, and it was like 25 pound for a laser. Uh, to buy them, that is. But with this, you get a brand new mechanism, brand new rollers, brand new plate, everything. It just don't make sense to change just a laser. I genuinely don't understand why people do it, because like I don't understand. Like, I can understand from if you're doing it as a home repair, but in terms of um, in terms of from a, a customer standpoint, it don't make much sense to spend the extra time swapping out the laser. You've still got to disassemble it just as much. You've got to take out more screws to change the laser when you can get one with brand new rollers. Well, they're probably not brand new rollers. They're probably refurb rollers, but um, pretty much good as new rollers. A brand spanking new plate. You know that everything works. You know the mechanism's good. Um, and all you've got to do is bend these to the shape that you need them, and you're good. So... You buy the housing and everything, you just literally lift it out, drop this one in, and then you can refurb it when you've got nothing better to do. Like the old one, refurb it when you've got nothing better to do and find one that's got a, 
a messed up plate or something and put the laser out of that into it and then reuse it again. So it just makes more sense to buy them brand new. Um, for what I paid for them anyway. But yeah, I'm going to end it there. It is ten past two. Um, and uh, I don't think I've got enough time to start another job. So, um, yeah, I will leave it there. Thank you all for hanging out. I do appreciate it. Um, like I said, I do need to get permission on this one. So one partial fix, one successful fix. Um but I do need to get permission on this before I replace the disk drive. I'm not just going to replace the laser. Like I said, it's genuinely not worth it. Um, not worth the extra time involved and the fact that, you know, you get brand new everything with it. Uh, one more. No, I can't, mate. I've got to be up early for the school run. I've got to be awake in five hours. Um, thank you all. I appreciate it. Um, appreciate you all hanging out as usual. Uh, is computer boot alive? Does anyone know? Let's have a look. Uh, probably not because it's Sunday. Uh, no, it's not. Okay. Cool. Right then. Well, that's going to be from me. Thank you all for hanging out. I do appreciate it. I'll see you all in the next one. Good night, everyone.